Praise the Lord. I am Pastor Sherwood Hamilton of the House of Prayer, located in Darlington, South Carolina, Amen. on 1349 Rogers Road. We'd like to welcome you to the services of the Lord, held every Friday night at 8 p.m. and on Saturdays at 10.30 a.m. and at 3 p.m. We are people that believe in serving the Lord and serving Him with gladness. If you can reach our physical location, feel free to email us at Darlington House, excuse me, House of Prayer Darlington at gmail.com. We welcome all questions and critiques. We believe in serving the Lord, as I said, with gladness. For we believe his word, where it's written in Mark 9 and 7, saying, And there will a cloud out of heaven, and there was a cloud that overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the clouds, listen, saying, Listen to the voice that came out of the clouds, and a voice came out of the clouds, saying, This is my beloved son, hear him. This is my beloved son. Hear him. This voice is the voice of the creator of heaven and earth. Father, oh God almighty. He said the words of Christ, I want you to hear them. And the reason why, John 12 and 49. I have not spoken of myself. Jesus said I have not spoken of myself. Father which sent me. But the Father which sent me. He gave me a commandment. He gave me a commandment. What I should say. What I should say. And what I should speak. Lord, what I should speak. Christ did not make up anything. What he got, he got it from the Father. And everything the Father tells him, amen, he said he counted as a commandment, and that's why he spoke it. And one of the things that he spoke is found in Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. He answered and said, He answered and said, It is written. It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word. But by every word. That proceeded out of the mouth of God. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Listener, this is what we teach. This is what we preach. And this is what we strive to live by. Every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. We speak no other words, only his words. And Jesus was given a commandment to speak these words. John 8 and 47. He that is of God. He that is of God. Hear God's word. Hear God's word. Ye therefore hear them not. Ye hear them not. Because ye are not of God. If you do not hear the word of the Lord. Is because you are not of God. Join us in Malachi chapter 1 and 6 as we hear the words of God. A son. A son. Honor his father. Honor his father. And a servant his master. And a servant his master. If then I be a father. If God be a father. Where is mine honor? Where is my honor? And if I be a master. And if I be a master. Where is my fear? Where is my fear? These are the words of almighty God. If he be the father of all creation. If he be the father of every living, breathing species and soul that is upon the face of the earth. If he's a father of them all, he asks him this question, where is his honor? If he is the master, if he's your master, Amen. then he asks the second question, where is his fear? We're living in a society where Men and women both don't truly honor God, nor do they have the fear of the Lord. You can look on your regular television news stations, and you see all types of crime going out across the entire world, and also in your community. 
It is because men have failed to honor, to revere, to respect God. They have no fear of the Lord. That is why you see such an explosion of the homosexual community coming out of the box and proclaiming that God made them that way. I want you to know, listener, that you have to honor God and you got to honor God the right way. It was said unto me just recently that men should honor God the more. And I said unto the one that spoke these words to me, I said, in what way should we honor God? And his words to me was, all men got to do is praise the Lord. For the rest of the world, this, is, this message isn't for them. But it's for you who are in the house of God. It is you who are assembled into the place called the house of prayer of the church of God Jesus. to the location where you proclaim to be worshiping the true and living God Go ahead. Yes. Amen. to honor God Amen. goes further than offering him praise. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. God does not accept any kind of praise. You can say thank you. You can say hallelujah. You can say to God in the glory all day long to the rising of the sun, to the going down of the sand. But there is more Amen. to honoring the true and living God than just offering up praise. Amen. The individual that said this to me, he was very sincere and deep about it. I'm saying how you can see in his local church how folk are not really praising God like they should. And by them not doing that, they're not honoring God. Brother, sister, let's see what God says about honoring him. For he says if he be a, a father, then where is his honor? Where is his respect? Where is his reverence? If he be a master, then where is his fear? Matthew chapter 18, verse 16. Now God says this. God is looking for us amongst them who we have created, amongst them whom he has blessed, amongst them whom he has brought out of darkness and into his marvel of light. He is looking amongst those who call themselves his people to see if there be a living soul amongst them All right. who has truly given him the honor that he Commands. Are we honoring the Lord today? Let's see what the scripture says, Matthew chapter 18 and verse 16. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. Out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1. God says through the mouth of Christ, let every word be established by two or three witnesses. Listen to what Paul said in 2 Corinthians 13 verse 1. This is the third time I am coming to you. This is the third time I am coming to you. In the mouth of two or three witnesses. He quotes the very words of Christ. The very words of God. In the mouth of two or three witnesses. In the mouth of two or three witnesses. Shall every word be established. Shall every word be established. So let's find out through the scriptures. Rather or not, God is really saying that the world is not giving him the honor that he deserves. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Before we go to Matthew 15 and verse 8, let's stay in the New Testament for a moment. For a lot of you believe that Old Testament, amen, is just a modern reading. But the Bible says all scriptures was given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Then look into God's word, Matthew 15 and verse 8. When Jesus came on the scene, he was amongst a bunch of religious folk. Yes. He said he spoke mainly to those who supposed to have known the truth and were supposed to have been walking according to the truth. Amen. Amen. God questioned God's demand, God's his quest for honor should be, it should not be amongst those who say they know him. But God is speaking to a group of people, amen, praise God, who says that they love him. 
that he's the best thing in their lives. That they are worshiping him. That they love him. Well, God says, but honor me. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 8. These people draw nigh unto me. Draw back to verse 7, real. Ye hypocrite. Ye what? Hypocrite. Wait a minute. Jesus. He's talking about those who are saying one thing, mm -hmm. but are doing something else. Lord. You mean, preacher, you telling me folk that are praising God, jumping and shouting, running and dancing, and speaking in a tongue they themselves can't understand. You telling me that they're honoring God? Say the honor of God, but not listen to Jesus as he speaks the words of God. So ye hypocrites. Ye hypocrites. Where did Isaiah prophesy of you saying? Well, well did Isaiah prophesy of you saying? Say it. These people draw knives unto me with their mouth. These people draw knives to me with their mouth. They honor me with their lips. They honor me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. But their heart is far from me. But God vain. says that they honor him with their lips. Right. Mm -hmm. Never before have you turned on the radio and you hear such beautiful songs being broadcasted across the airways talking about how great is our God. Yeah. Amen. How much they love the Lord. Yeah. How does power in his name. How his name breaks every chain. All these songs are catered to honor and to magnify God. But it's all coming from their lips. God is saying, you honoring me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. What do you mean? Wait a minute, we've got to get that second witness in it, don't we? Isaiah 29, 13. This thing just been shot with Jesus. Amen, praise God. But this uh, deception of honoring God has been going on amongst the people of God for a very long time. For a very long time. Isaiah 29 and verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me, Listen. With their mouth, With their mouth, And with their lips, With their lips, Do honor me, They do honor me, But have removed their heart far from me, But have removed their heart far from me. Amen. God said they removed their heart far from me. They're saying to me, Oh, there's some beautiful choirs. Oh, you deserve... You deserve an Oscar. Because you're putting on a great show. Amen. You're entertaining the people wonderfully. Amen. The Oscar should go to the gospel choirs. An Oscar should go to some of you pastors. The Oscar should go to some of you preachers. Because you're putting on a good entertainment for your listeners. God says with your lips you are honoring me. But with your heart, you're far from me. Ezekiel chapter 33. Two witnesses, out of about two or three witnesses, God said, let every word be established. Yeah. We've heard it from Christ. We heard it again, spoken by the prophet Isaiah. And here Ezekiel. Some call him a minor prophet. Minor major. He speaks the word of God. Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 31. And they come unto thee as the people come. God said the people come unto him. Or they come to him as the people come. And they sit before thee. They sit before him. As my people. As his people. And they hear thy word. And they hear his word. But they will not do them. But they will not do them. See, this is the deception amen, in which God is referring to. When he says you honor me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. Amen. When you say you are magnifying the Lord, but they will not do or hear what the word of the Lord says, as it is written, be not a hearer only, but be a doer of the word. If you are listening, hearing these words spoken by the men of God, and then you turn around and leave the service of the Lord and refuse to do them, you have just But your heart is far from him. Verse 32. 
For with their mouth they show much love. My God, with the mouth they show much love. But their heart goeth after their covenant. With much read it again for me, brother, please. But their heart goeth after their covenant. God said the heart goeth after their covenant. They chasing their will. You're chasing your heart's desire. Jesus. Which is not in accordance with the will of God. Okay. You're going after the big churches. You're going after the great congregations. You're going after fame and fortune and your glory. Jesus. God is not pleased. Yeah, yeah. Your honoring with your lips is not pleasing in the eyes of God. If you fail to do what the Lord said, you said, Preacher, I don't believe that. Amen. That in honor of God, I got to do everything I hear you say. I'm not asking you to do what I say. I want you to do what the Lord says. Amen. Amen. Christ is your example. Go to the book of John chapter 8. Christ is your example. He is my example. Give me John 8 and 49. He is our example. Don't follow me. Follow the one you said. For, forget your all of your sins. Believe him. John 8 and 49. Jesus answered. Jesus answered. I have not a devil. I have not a devil. But I honor my father. I, you might hear me up here. My voice getting a little loud. But I ain't got no devil. Not Lord. I might be saying some hard things to you. But I ain't confessed with the devil. Right. I know what I'm saying is it's not according to the normal preaching and teaching, but I don't have a devil. All right. I have the spirit of the Lord and I'm following his word. Yeah. Yeah. Christ said, I don't have a devil. But I honor my father. But he do what? Honor my father. He honor his father. And he do dishonor me. And you do dishonor me. Let's stay in John for a moment. Yeah. Jesus said he honoreth his father. Drop down to verse 54. We got to find out how we honor him. And then some folk thinking that honoring God is just simply coming to the church house, becoming a member of the church, preaching from the pulpit, singing from the choir, doing something in the church, and you think that you're honoring God, but it goes deeper! Oh, yeah. Verse 54. Jesus answered. Jesus again is answering you. If I honor myself. If I honor myself. My honor is nothing. My honor is nothing. If I'm honoring It's nothing. It's vain. It's worthless. That's right. Jesus said, I don't honor myself. That's why he said, the word that I speak, they are coming from the Father. He gave me a commandment. And I know that his commandment is life. He only speaks those things. Why? Because he was not seeking his own honor. Drop down to verse 50. And I seek. And I seek. Not my own glory. I don't seek my own glory. There is one that seeketh. Jesus said he is not seeking his own glory. Not seeking no fame. Not seeking for your likeness. I don't care if you like it. Don't like me. But I love God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. He said I'm not seeking my own glory. Amen. Amen. There is one that seeketh and judges. There is one that seeketh and judges. Verily, brother, I say unto you. Verily, brother, I say unto you. If a man keep my saying. If he keep my saying. He shall never see death. He shall never see death. Verse 55. Hey, Jesus. Yet. Yet. Ye have not known him. You don't know him. But I know him. Listen, if you say you're honoring God, Jesus says he know God. Uh -huh. Yet. Ye and have he not says known him. he honoreth God. Amen. Let's read how he honoreth the Lord. Yeah. Yet ye have not known him, but I know him. And if I shall say, I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him and keep his saying. The way you honor God, you keep his saying. Yes, if you say you love God, then keep his saying. Go to John uh, 8, 29. Oh man, Jesus said a whole lot. Jesus answered. Jesus answered. He said he has not a devil, but he honored his father. And he honored his father by not seeking his own glory, not seeking his own will, but by keeping the sayings of God. Amen. The reason why ancient Israel was honoring God with the lip and the heart was far from him was because they refused to hear God's word. John 8 29. And he 
that sent me, he that sent me, is with me. Is with me. The Father, the Father, have not left me alone. He have not left me alone. If I do always those things that please me. You see, if you want to honor God, you got to do the things that pleases Him. Isaiah forty twenty twenty one. Jesus done the things that please God. He honored God by doing the things that please God. He honored God by keeping the sayings of God. He didn't keep them because he was a Jew. He kept them because he was a son of God. And if you call yourself a son of God, a sister of the Lord Most High, then keep his sayings. Keep his sayings. Do what he commands you to do, Isaiah 42 and 21. The Lord is well pleased. Now Jesus said he honored the Father, right? Yeah. He said he kept his sayings, right? Oh, my Lord. The scripture we just read, he said he always do those things that please him. Isaiah 42 and 21. Come on, read up. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness. The Lord is well pleased with the righteousness. He will magnify the law. Look, the thing that Jesus did to honor God, he magnified the law. And make it honorable. And he made it honorable. He didn't destroy it. He didn't put it aside. He didn't say he's going to get rid of it. But the way he honored God was by magnifying us, making the law. He would magnify the law. John chapter 4, verse 34. You want to honor the Lord? You can say you love Jesus until your lips turn white. Amen. But if you are not Amen. keeping the sins of Almighty God, you are not honoring Him. Your heart is far from Him. Give me that John 4 and 34. Jesus said unto them. Oh, Jesus said unto them. My meat is to do. My meat is to what? Is to do. Is to do the will of Him. That's, that's it. That's the only way you will honor God. You got to do the will of Him. His will, not your own. He didn't create nothing. His will was to do what the Father commanded him to do. And that was to come and make the law of God honorable. Yes, oh, have mercy. John chapter 17. We're going to write this up. John 17. <laughs> verse 4. <laughs> Jesus said, I honor my Father. I ain't got a devil. I ain't making nothing up. Amen. Praise God. I ain't lost my mind. I come to do what God said. His yeah, yeah, yeah. will. And his will was that he observed the law of God and to make it honorable. Yeah. Why? Because so many corrupted priests was operating in his day that he had to show them the right way on how to observe the law of God. John 17 verse 4 I have glorified thee on the earth. Look at him. Jesus said I have glorified thee Get on the earth. I have finished the work. I finished the work. Which thou has given me Which to do. Which thou has given me to do. Yeah. I finished the work. I made the law on I didn't get rid of it, but I obeyed it. Give me that Philippians 2 and verse 9. Yeah. Real, if you want to honor God, you got to do more than say the love of Jesus. If you want to honor God, you got to say more than God is great. If you want to honor God, you got to say more than God is big. Yeah. If you want to honor God, you got to say more than praise ye the Lord. If you want to honor God, you got to do more than just put time in the offering. Yeah. If you want to honor God, you got to do more preaching than the people of the pulpit. Sherwood Hamilton. All right. Amen. Amen.